Hi, and welcome again. I'm Marek Mularczyk from Photoshop Lightroom Bridge.co.uk. That's the website where you can find tips and t tricks about Photoshop and Lightroom and photography. That's where you can also find some videos and even more exciting stuff. What we've done so far in the previous two movies is we used Content Aware Fill, the new feature in Photoshop CS5 to replace the content. We got rid of this gentleman here and then the bush on the right hand side in this image and we use another photo here to remove the cyclist on the image. Now we'll move on to S image here and we'll have a look on how to retouch the images. What I want to do in this example, I want to remove this phone line here near the top. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in a bit so you can see better. Okay, let's try first the old techniques like we used in the previous versions of Photoshop. Because we have loads of texture here and different lighting, I would probably use healing brush tool. Not the clone stamp tool, because I want to keep the texture. Remember, the healing brush tool will keep the texture, or keep the lighting, and will try to blend the content around. Okay, so I'm going to use the healing brush tool from my toolbar. You can also press J on a keyboard, or Shift J, depending on your settings for your preferences in Photoshop. Okay. So I've got a healing brush tool. I'll make my brush a bit bigger. I'm using the right uh, bracket key on a keyboard to make it bigger. It looks good. Okay, good, mode normal. And I'm just going to, first I'm going to duplicate the background layer. Because I'm on a background layer, it's not the best practice to work on the images. So I'm just going to use Control J. Or if you're on a Mac, you press Command J to create a copy of your background layer. That's the layer we're working on. Okay, now on layer one. I'm going to click here. Oh, yeah, healing brush tool. Okay. Um, so what we need to do is we need to create a sample first. So I'll probably start somewhere around here. I'll press the Alt key and I'll click and I'll release the Alt key and now I'll start click and I'll drag here. Okay, that looks not too bad. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, you can see it looks pretty bad. I start do here. Alt click click and drag let's see how it works mm, well not too bad let's try maybe here don't want to take too much time well let's say not too bad okay I'm just going to undo it a couple of times um, no, 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 no. so I'm back here okay and I'm going to use spot healing brush tool so I don't have to sample spot healing brush tool that's what we're going to do here. There's a new option here called Content Aware. But before we use it, I'll just use the old Proximity Match option here. So I'm going to click and drag on this line here, trying to remove it. Spot Healing Brush tool will take the pixels around the area and try to blend them with the pixels on the wall. And it should give me quite a good image. It looks not too bad. I'd say it looks better than using Healing Brush tool on the first run. Uh, let me undo it. I've still got some issues here and also here. So I'm just going to undo it. Control Z or Command Z on the Mac. And this time I'm going to use Content Aware option in the options bar for the Spot Clean Brush tool. Okay. And the rest will be exactly the same. I'm going to click here and drag along the line to remove it. And here as well. Okay, looks good, and I'll release the mouse button. Now Photoshop will look in the pixels, we'll try to remove them using the camera, and this is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Completely different from the regular spot clean brush tool. It's been removed, I'm just going to zoom in even further, so you can look closely on the image. It looks so good. It's like the line, the phone line has never been here. Really, really good. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> this is the power of the new Content Aware option in the Options bar for Spot Healing Brush Tool. So this was the Spot Healing Brush Tool. This is the option, Content Aware, in the Options bar near the top of your application window in Photoshop. This was amazing. That's it for today. I'm Marek Mularczyk from PhotoshopLightroomBridge.co.uk and until next time.